Welcome back to Cooking It Right, the channel that takes home cooks to the next level. I'm your host for today, BK Jackson. Every May brings the celebration of Devil's Food Cake, but ever wondered why the dessert is called so? Well, today, we're going to unravel the fascinating tale behind this decadently dark dessert. And while we're at it, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. To ignore us would be just as devilish. But back to the cake. We will dive into Devil's Food Cake's intriguing origins, trace its rise to fame, and even explore its global conquest. And we won't stop there. We'll also reveal three tantalizing ways to serve this devilishly delightful delicacy right at home. So strap in and prepare for a deliciously devilish journey through the history of Devil's Food Cake. Hasus. Das, our devilish journey begins in the United States in the late 19th century. It was during this time that the first whispers of a rich, dark, and tantalizingly tempting dessert began to circulate. This dessert, my friends, was none other than the Devil's Food Cake. Now you might be wondering, where, where did this sinful dessert get its name? Well, one theory suggests that it was named as a stark contrast to the Angel Food Cake, its lighter, fluffier counterpart. You see, while Angel Food Cake was seen as the epitome of sweetness and light, Devil's Food Cake was its richer, darker, and dare we say, more devilishly delicious counterpart. The first recorded recipe of Devil's Food Cake can be traced back to 1902. This early version was a decadent blend of chocolate, butter, sugar, and eggs. But it wasn't until 1906 that the Devil's Food Cake truly began to make waves in the culinary world. This was the year it made its notable appearance in the renowned Boston Cooking School Cookbook. The cookbook, authored by Fanny Farmer, was a household name, and its recipes reached kitchens all across America. The inclusion of Devil's Food Cake in this widely read cookbook played a significant role in popularizing the dessert. Suddenly, households across the country were attempting to recreate this rich, chocolatey delight. And it wasn't long before the Devil's Food Cake became a staple at family gatherings and festive occasions. Its unique flavor profile, combining the richness of chocolate with a moist, tender crumb, quickly made it a favorite among dessert lovers. Its deep, dark color only added to its allure, making it stand out among other cakes of the time. The Devil's Food Cake was more than just a dessert. It was a culinary sensation, a symbol of indulgence that dared to challenge the norms of its time. It was a cake that embodied the spirit of innovation and creativity, pushing the boundaries of what a cake could be. And so Devil's Food Cake began to tempt taste buds across America. Its journey was just beginning, and its rise to fame was nothing short of spectacular. But that, my friends, is a story for another time. From its humble beginnings, Devil's Food Cake quickly rose to decadent fame. As the 20th century rolled in, this devilishly delightful dessert began to charm its way into the hearts of many, quickly becoming a staple in home kitchens across America. During the Great Depression, times were tough and luxuries were few and far between. Yet, the Devil's Food Cake remained a beacon of indulgence and comfort. Its simple ingredients, cocoa, flour, sugar, and eggs were often readily available, making it an achievable treat even in the hardest of times. Families could whip up this rich chocolatey cake as a sweet escape from their daily struggles. It became more than just a dessert. It was a symbol of resilience and a testament to the human spirit's ability to find joy in adversity. As we moved into the 1950s, the Devil's Food Cake took on a new level of fame. The post-war era was a time of convenience and innovation, and the advent of boxed cake mixes catapulted this beloved dessert into iconic status. Suddenly, anyone could create a devil's food cake at home with just a few simple steps. It was as if the devil himself had danced into the kitchen, making this indulgent dessert accessible to all. 
the cake mix craze turned this once humble creation into a superstar of the dessert world. Through the decades, the Devil's Food Cake continued to evolve, with each generation adding their own twist. Despite the rise of countless new dessert trends, the Devil's Food Cake has remained a constant, a chocolatey comfort that continues to delight taste buds around the world. Thus, the Devil's Food Cake became oh, a household name and its popularity shows no signs of slowing down. It's a testament to the timeless appeal of a well-baked, richly flavored, and devilishly delicious slice of cake. And as we continue to explore the history of this culinary icon, remember, every bite is a taste of the past, a celebration of the present, and an anticipation of the delicious future. City and Spheres. From America, the Devil's Food Cake began to spread its devilish charm worldwide. This dark and delectable dessert didn't take long to traverse across borders, delighting taste buds far and wide. With its rich chocolatey goodness, it's no wonder the Devil's Food Cake has become a global sensation. As it journeyed from the United States to Europe, Asia, Australia, and beyond, the Devil's Food Cake was embraced with open arms and open mouths. In each new location, food lovers and culinary experts alike were quick to put their own unique spin on this classic American dessert. In Europe, for instance, they took the devil by the horns and added a touch of elegance. The French version, Gâteau du Diable, is often served with a rich ganache and a side of raspberry coulis, adding a tangy contrast to the deep, chocolatey cake. As it traveled further east, the Devil's Food Cake was given an Asian twist. In Japan, the Akuma no Kiki is often paired with matcha cream, combining the robust flavors of the cake with the delicate, earthy notes of green tea. Down under in Australia, the Devil's Food Cake has found itself at home in many a barbie, called the Devil's Tucker, it's frequently served with a generous helping of whipped cream and a sprinkle of native wattle seed for a unique nutty flavor. And let's not forget the Latin American version, Pastel del Diablo. Here, it's not uncommon to see the cake adorned with a spicy chocolate sauce, adding a devilish kick that perfectly complements the sweetness of the cake. No matter where you are in the world, there's a good chance you'll find a devil's food cake ready to satisfy your sweet tooth. Whether it's the elegant French version, the earthy Japanese twist, the Aussie Barbie favorite, or the spicy Latin American rendition, this devilish dessert has truly conquered the globe, one slice at a time. Thrill. Now that we've indulged in the history of Devil's Food Cake, let's delve into the first way to serve it. Our first method is a nod to tradition. Picture this, a moist, dark chocolate cake. It's rich cocoa flavor intensified by a hint of coffee. Now imagine this luscious cake enveloped in a layer of glossy chocolate ganache. Yes, you heard it right. The first way to serve Devil's Food Cake is with a generous coating of decadent chocolate ganache. The ganache, a velvety mixture of heavy cream and high quality dark chocolate adds an extra depth of flavor to the already tantalizing cake. Its glossy finish not only adds aesthetic appeal, but also transforms the cake into a chocolate lover's dream. The process of frosting the cake with ganache is an art in itself. The cake layers are sandwiched together with a layer of ganache, then the entire cake is covered with more of the luscious chocolate mixture. This double hit of ganache ensures that every bite is filled with the rich, creamy goodness of chocolate. But the beauty of this serving method doesn't stop there. The ganache serves as a blank canvas for further decoration. You could sprinkle some crushed nuts on top for a touch of crunch, or maybe some fresh berries for a pop of color and a burst of tartness to balance the sweetness. And for those special occasions, a dusting of edible gold leaf adds an element of luxury. This traditional method of serving Devil's Food Cake is a testament to the adage, less is more. 
The simplicity of the chocolate ganache allows the unique flavors of the Devil's Food Cake to shine through. It's a pairing that has stood the test of time, and for good reason. So, whether you're a seasoned baker or a novice in the kitchen, this method is doable. It's about taking the time to savor the process, the art of baking, and ultimately, the joy of sharing a delicious slice of Devil's Food Cake. This classic method is sure to please any chocolate lover's palate. Ready for a second helping? Here's another way to serve your Devil's Food Cake. Now let's take a detour from the traditional dense chocolatey goodness. We're going to lighten things up a bit, but don't worry, we're not skimping on the decadence. This method involves filling your cake with cream and dusting it with powdered sugar. It's a lighter option, but still incredibly indulgent. So what's the magic behind this method? It's all about contrast. That rich, dark, moist devil's food cake, when paired with the light cream, creates a symphony of flavors and textures in every bite. And the powdered sugar, it's the cherry on top, adding a sweet, delicate finish. What kind of cream should you use? Well, that's the beauty of this method. The world is your oyster. You could go for a classic whipped cream, or maybe a rich, tangy cream cheese filling, or perhaps you're feeling adventurous. How about a coconut cream or a spiced mascarpone? The key is to choose a cream that complements the robust chocolate flavor of the cake and the powdered sugar. It's more than just a pretty finishing touch. It adds a subtle sweetness that enhances the overall flavor profile of the cake. Plus, it gives the cake an elegant snow-capped look. Simply dust it on top using a small sieve for a delicate, even coating. Now, serving this version of the Devil's Food Cake is all about presentation. Slice it up and serve each piece on a pretty dessert plate. The contrast between the dark cake, white cream, and powdered sugar is visually striking, making this dessert not just a treat for the taste buds, but for the eyes as well. So, there you have it. A second way to serve your devil's food cake that's lighter but equally devilish. This method adds a delightful contrast to the rich chocolate cake. It's a testament to the versatility of this culinary icon, proving that the devil's food cake is indeed devilishly delicious in more ways than one. This method adds a delightful contrast to the rich chocolate cake. For our final serving suggestion, we're going to add a little kick to our devil's food cake. Now, what could possibly intensify the divine decadence of a devil's food cake? The answer, my friends, is a spicy chili chocolate frosting. Yes, you heard it right. We're going to turn up the heat on this classic dessert in a way that you might not have imagined. This method calls for a bold fusion of flavors. The rich, dark, and moist chocolate cake, traditionally known for its light and airy crumb, gets a fiery twist. The frosting, a blend of melted dark chocolate, butter, powdered sugar, and a dash of your favorite chili powder, brings a new level of complexity to the cake. The subtle heat from the chili powder enhances the depth of the season. Chiaku chocolate while adding an unexpected kick. It's like a firework of flavors in your mouth, a sensory experience that will leave you craving for more. To make this spicy chili chocolate frosting, you'll need to melt your dark chocolate and butter together until they form a smooth and glossy mixture. Then, sift in your powdered sugar and mix until combined. The grand finale is the addition of chili powder. The quantity of chili you add is completely up to you and your taste buds. A pinch for a subtle hint or a spoonful for those who dare to walk on the wild side. Once your frosting is ready, let it cool slightly before generously slathering it onto your cooled devil's food cake. The contrast between the cool, airy cake and the warm, spicy frosting is nothing short of a symphony of flavors. So there you have it, a devil's food cake with a spicy chili chocolate frosting. A dessert so devilish, it's heavenly. This adventurous twist on the classic cake 
is not just a treat for your palate, but also a conversation starter. This unexpected combination of flavors will surely make your Devil's Food Cake the talk of any gathering. From its origins to its global fame, Devil's Food Cake has secured its place in culinary history. This culinary icon with its moist, airy texture and its deep, rich chocolate flavor can trace its roots back to the late 19th century. Born in the United States, this devilishly delightful dessert rapidly gained popularity, not just domestically, but also across the globe. The name Devil's Food Cake itself is thought to have been coined as a playful contrast to the already popular Angel Food Cake. With its richer, denser, and more sinful flavor profile, it's easy to see why this chocolate marvel earned its devilish title. As we've journeyed through its history, we've seen how the Devil's Food Cake has evolved over the years. From its early days when cocoa was a luxury ingredient, to the mid-20th century when instant cake mixes brought the Devil's Food Cake into the homes of millions, this dessert has proven its staying power. We've also explored the different ways this cake can be served, each method bringing out a distinct facet of its character. The first method, serving it as a layer cake with a creamy chocolate frosting, is perhaps the most classic and widely loved. The second method, pairing the cake with a tart fruit compote, offers a delightful contrast that cuts through the richness of the cake. The third method, serving the cake warm with a scoop of vanilla ice cream, transforms this dessert into a comforting treat, perfect for cold nights. Each serving method not only enhances the flavors of the Devil's Food Cake, but also showcases its versatility. Whether it's a birthday party, a casual get-together, a romantic dinner, or a quiet night in, there's a Devil's Food Cake variation that fits the occasion. So, as we celebrate this culinary icon, let's not forget the journey it took to get here. From its humble beginnings, to its rise as a global dessert sensation, the Devil's Food Cake has truly made its mark in the world of gastronomy. Its rich flavor, its versatility, and its timeless appeal have all contributed to its well-deserved status as a beloved dessert. So, next time you enjoy a slice of Devil's Food Cake, remember its rich history and savor every devilishly delicious bite.